Hello and what is up noobs and noob slayers, Sir Dizzle here and today we're going to be playing Total War Pharaoh Dynasties, the newest overhaul slash update, basically an entire new game, um, making an entire comeback for um, Total War Pharaoh. Uh, what they have essentially added to this uh, new update is, I wish I could actually go see real quick, here we go, I wish you can. So they added le lethality, which is huge, every strike of a soldier has a chance to kill their opponent outright. Which, which makes archers just change the game entirely. Uh, launch Legacy, you can switch between Pharaoh and Pharaoh Dynasties, but honestly at this point, no point in playing regular Pharaoh. Uh, Mesopotamia adds new lands. Mortal characters, that is also very huge. Um, because beforehand, Pharaoh's leaders were, like, they were just like Total War Warhammer 3, they became injured, legendary lords. Um, so your actual faction leaders can die. Uh, Dynasty as well, huge. Uh, you have families now. Uh, Mesopotamian de uh, deities, marriage, ruling family, um, Mesopotamian court, Aegean court, same thing with uh, you know, dynasties, units, oh, it's it's huge, it's awesome. And then you can create laws and everything like that. Um, and sea trouble. So I'm very excited to dive into it. Uh, we're going to be trying actually the, uh, the Greeks. Um, not going to be the ruler of Troy. I don't, I don't really want to be them. I want to be uh, Sparta. My world is Sparta, but uh, yeah, I don't, don't want to be this man. I don't want to be Troy. Uh, I'm not about that. Um, I can see how Troy would be a little bit challenging, uh, like normal, but we're Only gonna we're gonna be Sparta, survive. and we're going to be playing on the difficulty veteran veteran. And uh, let's see if there's anything else that we can add to it. Uh, no, no point. I mean, army size default. Yeah, there's no point. I think my unit setting is actually on extreme, so that's that's very exciting. Um, and let's just dive into it. I mean, there's really nothing else to do it. Let's bring glory. The great green so, cradle. I'm absolutely beyond excited for this because the of the main Mainland fact that is home it, to the it great is allegedly Achaean, the biggest total war map anyway. to date historically. But their legacy um, their own and I'm history. very excited in this manner because I also them. love Greek culture, Greek history. Um, I, however, do not know a lot about the Bronze Age, um, which is very interesting. Um, so we're going to see um, what we can do. Uh, and I actually struggled. I, I did play this originally uh, not too long ago, a couple days like a couple days ago, just to try it out. And it's interesting how it is challenging at the start. Uh, your Supreme first Warrior battle, of the um, can be if you uh, also are not I really uh, aware with the new system, King how lethality Agamemnon. works, uh, and everything like that. that like you'll see in a second. Like you see that balance of power. Typically, your first battle is not going to be like that at all. So we're just going to get in there, fight the battle. And I'll show you exactly what I mean, um, and show you how honestly brutal lethality is. Alrighty, let's deploy. Um, and of course, we got our other units over there, so we're pretty much just gonna have our guys sit here, hold fast, and then we're gonna regroup before we do anything. Um, but it, it's it's a very uh, adding lethality is <laughs> it makes it so the enemy uh, AI like ranged units are a real threat now it's not something where you like ah they're just pelting me it's okay like you can almost lose an entire unit almost instantaneously uh that's that's how crazy it is um lethality is and it's definitely something that you want to prioritize the enemy range now and honestly range can make or break like in regular total war they can make or break a battle but now it's just like it's very detrimental um that you have ranged units and it seems like uh, the Bronze Age, they're, they're kind of going for that as the, uh, the overall, like, power play, uh, I guess you could say. Okay, right, um, can this guy hurry up, please? Menelaus, please? Thanks. Alright, uh, now what we're gonna do is group these guys up so we can keep it in a formation, and then we're going to move forward. Oh, whoops. Alright, where are you guys going? I will say the units uh, look really good. Um, I'm gonna slow down real quick. I, I mean, it's very, you know, I love the graphics of Pharaoh. Um, I just never got into it because that whole quick gameplay, uh, the map, just everything about it, I wasn't really a fan of. I mean, the graphics and some of the features they added to it were a great idea. Um, just honestly, uh, 
kind of they they fumbled it, but so far I've been really really enjoying uh, the new gameplay loop. So hopefully you can kind of keep that way. Ah, oh, here they are, holding the hill. Everybody knows the most important thing in a battle is the hilltop, especially in the Bronze Age. So they do have slingers, which are going to hurt. Um, however, with the trees, we should be fine. Goal here is is also killing the general of an enemy faction is an absolute like it it'll end the battle almost instantaneously like other total wars are really like oh you know a huge morale debuff this it it can actually break it instantly like it can end a battle so if you snipe their general you could end a battle like almost instantaneously um now i'm gonna try doing that to show you guys um as you can see the lethality here they are going for menelaus uh which not really not good uh let's send two units of skirmishers over to the right flank and let's have our other two push up the middle here and start to go after those guys. Now so we can have our melee get ready to assault. Get ahead of the uh, formation. And yep, as you can see, they got two slinger units. Let's go for the guys that are not in the tree line. Uh, we are going to suffer quite a bit of casualties from this, but, you know, gotta, gotta get up there. And you can see they also got more slingers there. Alright. Put these guys out. Now, as you can see, look at the damage that we're doing to them. In just, just a few like volleys. It's huge. The, uh, the damage. And actually, let's see if we can try to save some ammunition right there. And looks like we got a charge coming in hot to our guys. We can get another unit going off. Uh, let's actually get these swords in there. Kind of branch off. Because my goal is to just knock out their ranged. Because if we get their ranged, that would, that would be huge. There we go. Just get, if we can get our uh, swordsmen. The swordsmen also are really good at just engaging the enemy. Uh, enemy skirmishers and things like that. Meanwhile, we can... Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, they're going to have some. And you're not doing so hot either. Let's get you to go around. We can hit the side, and then let's hit the back and shoot these guys over them. Boom. Push these guys up the hilltop. Alright, nice. Look at that. You're already breaking these guys, and you can, you can really see how quickly it's... Look, look, look at that. You kill four... Like, look, you see how quick? It's really crazy how quick you can uh, just ruin a... Uh, an enemy unit by that. And then if we get our guys up here and just get behind them, I guarantee you we can just destroy them. Onward warriors! Forward we go. As you can see, light infantry, very good at chasing down enemy range, as in all total wars, but this is just gonna be fine. Um, and honestly, I think what I kinda wanna do is get my javelins. We're gonna pull these guys back and get the javelins to um, kind of just hammer them. Yeah, these guys are pretty good. Now, I'm going to show you what I mean by how quick we can kill an enemy unit. These guys can throw quickly. 115 or 14. See, they're, they're doing it very quickly. Look at that. Already making them. General's dead instantly, just like that. And you can see they are about to very broken. So quick. It was. It was crazy. Um, granted, sometimes you can have the enemy general actually. Uh, survive a, a very long time, um, but in most cases they're going to die very quickly. Uh, it's just like that. Easy, easy. Uh, now, I, I kind of don't want them to get away because uh, I believe they still get the surviving unit, so if you just whittle them down a little bit, that would be great. Um, especially the, uh, the general unit. Remember this so, and then as you can see, uh, when you win a battle, you get food, bronze, uh, you do get gold sometimes, and uh, you do get legitimacy. So what I normally like to do is my first battle, uh, food's not really that much of an issue right now. Uh, bronze would be kind of nice to get that extra 54, but we're making 370, so we're going to unit, unit, uh, unit the replenishment. Um, and King we're actually, Agamemnon. see there's a 7 uh, stack right there. Supreme we're going to pull warrior back, of the uh, hold this position, Marching on. go into encamp mode, Dig in. and then let's Supreme see warrior of the get Egypt. a ambush stat, uh, ambush going there. Shepherd and then of the people. we're going to get some light infantry, to be some more guys uh, for us, and let's, let's start to upgrade our buildings. Um, so we can see we start out with Sparta. 
uh, Scythera, um, Tyrannus, and Mycenae. Uh, I, I believe I butchered all those, but um, yeah, so as you can see, we have the Arcadians, uh, Dolopia, Aetolians. We have quite a few factions around us, the Athens, and this map is huge. Uh, as you can see, this is a very huge map, so it's going to be a very large uh, Let's Play. Um, my goal here is to essentially solidify this area first, um, take these guys out, and it looks like we're negative gold, so who has gold around me? Um, okay, so it looks like these guys have gold, so I, I think we're going to have to go take out the Arcadians, and then I guess we'll conquest our way around here, solidify it, go up here, and then just kind of push a wall that way. I think that's what's going to be our, uh, our starting goal for the gold almost immediately, and as you can see, they're attacking a garrison of ours already. Uh, do I think we could win this? You know, I don't think we can win this, uh, in all honesty, but we're, we're gonna try it. Uh, just, just, why not? Alright, let's hope the enemy, uh, oh, that's not good. Let's, let's hope they consolidate their uh, forces in one area, because that's what I'm kind of going to bank on here, is for them to be doing that. And if they do... Can I see anyone over here? Let's just see if we can kind of like scout so we can see any rain. Nope. So it looks like they're probably going to be having guys come just straight here. Which, to be, uh, to be honest, uh, that's actually not bad for us. So, see, we, okay, they are, so let's uh, have everybody there. So we're gonna have our guys kind of branch off. We do have one spear unit, which is good. We're gonna have them kind of branch off here, and then we're gonna keep, uh, I'm, I think I'm just gonna let them have uh, the opening spot here. Uh, we're just gonna see if we can get some pop shots off on the, on the guy, on the uh, range here that are coming in hot. We're just kind of hit these guys with some slings, and then we'll uh, retreat. Okay, retreat now. You guys should have went the other way. Probably gonna get hit. The arrows do hurt uh, quite a bit, um, but that's okay. Uh, can kind of afford it a little, but it's definitely something that we're gonna have to neutralize. Very quickly. Let's get our other centers over there, because my goal right now is to try to just collapse them on both sides. Uh, hit them like that. That's why we're uh, gonna, gonna try doing a two prong attack. There's their range. Slings. If we can knock out their range, we could potentially win the long con. Uh, oh, general versus general. That would be huge right there. Let's, let's hit that feature. And you can see, look at that. Their archers are doing a lot of damage against us very quickly. Uh, that we cannot really afford, uh, given the, uh, the ratio uh, that we're outnumbered here. So, if we can kill their general too with some good slings from behind. Uh, that would be a huge blow to them. We're going to fast forward a little bit just to get rid of their range. Um, good. That's dead. Now, let's kill their general. If we kill their general, I believe we can win this battle. Uh, and that's going to be the saving grace of this uh, the situation. Killing killing their general is going to be gonna be the make or break of this battle. Come on. If we can kill that general, that's a huge... But, I mean, these young spears, they've got to hold as well to allow our lower singers to keep doing their job. Because... We're slowly whittling him down, which is great. Uh, but again, I just don't, I don't think we uh, can have enough uh, manpower to do it. We're just gonna fast forward, because if he could die, that'd be good. Like I said, um, it's looking kind of good for us. Uh, 87 versus our 100. And, okay, we we. Is it, oh, we got one. We got one already about to break. These guys, these guys need a hold. Uh, a lot longer. You'll soon be crying from Is there any way that we can maybe just, uh, you can I hate doing this, but we have to have them do that. Kind of shift them over. Alright, good. They're on the run. He's about to be on the run as well. This would be huge if we can get him on the run. He's on the run. Can we kill him? Alright, hold your fire. Here's what we're going to do. Get those guys through here. And use the last 30 munition to hit them in the side. Have those guys chase him. Have our general get ready to... Get him in the rear. Kill him. That would be excellent. Oh, he might die. He's got 31 guys left. Oh. Alright, these guys are in position. Let's go hit these guys now. And let's hit these guys. 
If he dies, that would be just perfect. But if he also gets broken, that would be huge as well. 29 left. Honestly, if we just let him run away, uh, that could be very helpful too. Just gonna keep having these guys uh, slam into them with their, their range here. And on the side, that's such a detrimental spot as well with no shield for the turning. Alright, that's it. We're slamming. Come on. We got 25 guys left. We're just gonna, we're just gonna pull back. Alright. Our ranged is doing their job. They've been hit in the rear. Can they get that deep up? If he comes back and we kill him, that would be perfect. They are. Oh, we might have a break. If we can have a mass route. Oh my. That'd be, that'd be amazing. And if their general comes back, that's fine, because we can just take him out. Uh, you got ammunition. That's fine. Let's get some mass in there. You guys look like you're about to be out as well. Let's get you in there. And let's help out your general. He needs you. Um, he doesn't come back. He looks like he might be coming back. It's not great. It's definitely not great for us. Alright, just get in there. Our general cannot die. If he dies, that's going to be a brutal situation. All right, uh, we might have a mass route. There's no way we win this. Maybe. I mean, they they are losing decisively on all fronts here. They, they okay? They have returned. Mass route. Okay, huge. Look at that. Wow, we we won that. That was nice. Um, and it's funny because it said we were gonna lose that. Let's just kind of chase them down a little bit, get some kills here, uh, so we can whittle them down for our main army. And. Um, all right, sweet. We have killed a little bit. I'm just gonna fast forward it probably just for a couple more seconds. That was nice. You know, as you can see, the uh, ranged, and I'm gonna show you, uh, played a very huge role um, in, in that battle. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you see 223 kills, or 233 and 224. Like, that literally was the battle. They, they single-handedly destroyed that army uh, while the other guys held. So you can kind of see a common pattern. Um, with with the gameplay here range is going to be your friend if you can hold your front line and granted it's the same way with every total war oh yeah ranged you know it's great but it's not as lethal as this it's really not like it's so important that you have ranged uh to hold that for you and now we're gonna be able to slide into Cor uh, corinth uh take that um, honestly, with King relative ease, Agamemnon. I think, because as you can see, yeah, I mean, look at that. They have three archer units, and honestly, I think we could Shepherd take it with the people. Oh, javelins. Oh, King I see. Agamemnon. Okay. Um, that actually might pose an issue for us. Uh, let's... I think we have a That's cripple. Beyond me. Uh, Let my if we wipe out that beware. army, I mean, he's going to I'll have to replenish. refuse. Supreme warrior of let's... the Aegean. Yeah, see, we're gonna need... Never. Let's have him go down me. there, actually, and then let's recruit some singers uh, for the time compare. being. Because, I mean, realistically, uh, if we push that and we don't have slingers or anything, it, it's it's gonna be a very close battle, and I'd, I'd just rather not have that. Um, let's go with a workforce growth here. Uh, actually, we have bronze getting produced here. We do. Let's let's actually get some let's get some bronze uh, positive effects going here, and then let's let, let's just wait a turn and then Born actions. On the battlefield. Um, construction available. That's fine. We're to... so you do need Sparta. Let's make you make Sparta a. Yeah, we're gonna need more food. Um, as far as I feel like it would be a good food problem. All right, sweet. So we, ah, it looks like they the have uh, moved into the city. Okay, that's actually of good for us, because now they're going to be very limited with what they do. We now have our two I units of, uh, our two units of slingers, and we're actually going to get two units Such of archers before we go in. And my so then we'll have the archers, the slingers, I and the javelin, all. Uh, javelins. And realistically, uh, Strong in defense. We get another building here. Recruitment, uh, recruitment slots. We probably want that. Recruitment rank. Um. Yeah, I, th I think we're going to want to go here with a recruitment slot. Um. 
plus one. Uh, that would probably be huge, and then recruitment slots plus two. Yeah, I think that's... I mean, is there any others that give us recruitment slots by chance? I don't think there is. So let's go with the recruitment slots and recruitment rank, and then we're going to go get two the more archers. Mighty scepter. And then uh, we're going to attack I them. will not give uh, up. Devotion, let's devote you... To, Opulence uh, and order. Go to Zeus. Yeah, you're... Gods shall not ignore you. Okay. Now, uh, once we get those archers, if they recruit any guys, it won't really matter as long as we have that um, that range superiority. Uh, that'll be very huge for us to take this. And I know some people are like, oh, you can win, you can win. Yeah, but realistically, I want to be very aggressive. Um, right after this and kind of push in to the Arcadians, get that gold secured so that we can have a very strong economic now. Um, power Never to uh, take over our neighbors as well and kind of force a lot of uh, trade agreements and things like that. So now we're going to with our army. Uh, got that uh, superiority Fall going upon them. Uh, set up and as you can see, oh yeah, we're not going to win. Yeah, no, we'll be fine. Uh, we're going to encircle it, up. and Brother we're going to, to send another army in, Hold and there's no now. way that we should lose this. Um, realistically, we have the superiority of ranged, and we're going to be able to uh, do fast uh, lightning strike attacks on them. So my goal is maybe to pull them out of their defensive position, so sacrifice one of my light infantry units, the swordsmen, and uh, have pull them out. So. What you can do, um, Brent Weather, yeah, let's, let's do that. So, uh, what you can do if they have reinforcing armies is you can actually have them come out of the settlement. They'll they'll be like they'll pull out um, uh, to come attack. But we're gonna attack this from a two prong uh, area, and we're gonna send our slingers in first, as well as probe it with our light infantry. We're gonna have our javelins kind of also. Um, Oh, our ally. Can we move where he comes in from? No, it doesn't seem like we can. Er, yeah, fine. We'll just kind of have them run over. But this seems like the perfect spot uh, for me to have an attack come from. Bows. And are the spear and shield? Okay. Guys, we're coming. And we're gonna have them hold for the time being. Great. Our javelins are here. And let's have our other javelins arrive as well. So pretty much I'm going to have those javelins kind of do hit and run tactics. Have our slingers get ready to take out any range. We're just kind of going to do a quick little probe of the enemy defenses. The, where the ranged are. And then we're going to uh, go in and assault them. And we're ready to slow it down here. Because I know the ranged are going to be hidden. I don't want to have to commit. Uh, let's just move some archers up as well. And let's move our spears up. I don't see any archers, so it looks like they have them in the back. Keep these guys all fire at will. Okay, so where are they ranged? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, good. At least now we know where one is. Um. Okay. So we're gonna have our guys on hold fire. There they are. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. Right, now we're gonna pull them back. Hold these guys here. And that's fine if they take a couple kills, but we outrange them as you can see right there. Now we're gonna hit them with it with a couple of volleys. And I know they're likely gonna be coming out at us, which again is totally fine. We're gonna get ready to send up our uh, light skirmish or our light infantry. As you can see, we're taking some chunks out of them. Uh, they're going to be able to move up onto us, and they're just within range. They're about to be walking into our archers. That's fine again if these guys take a little bit of damage, because the real range is going to come in now. And they're going to hit them with it as they just launch their burst, and you're going to see a very huge volley right here. And now as they're trying to set up for a, another attack, we're already getting a maximum amount of damage on them. And the trade-off's going to be pretty significant, as you can see. Dead. Now what it's done also is it's opened up for our infantry to secure a foothold. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to send the skirmishers up. Uh, there they are. We need to categorize these guys. We're going to send them forward. And now look, the enemy army is quickly um, trying to regroup. That's one of their range gone. Um, now what? There's their other range. Perfect. Let's 
have our singers uh, hit them from, the, hit them from far. Make me proud. Oh no, this might go a little bad here. These four javelins might be the front of a. might take quite a bit of damage. Alright, let's start getting our clubs up a little bit closer so we can kind of soak up some damage here. Get our javelins uh, going back in. Because we do need that range superiority. To keep going. Uh, and then let's actually get some of our lighter infantry to push in from the side. Over here. Get our general as well. Uh, let's have him go in from the back. Have uh, javelins also move up. And as you can see, we're getting a lot of good hits with these javelins uh, on the enemy. Up here about to break already, which is really, really big for us to get the get their units to break. And as you can see, we're getting our guys straight in that melee conflict. Uh, we've got more spears and stuff to secure that flank, uh, especially since we have the ranged advantage that is really huge. Covering them uh, for the time being, yeah, just so we can kind of track them while these guys move in. We're gonna get our general ready, and we're just gonna kind of be pelting them with our javelins now. And you see that little spot that's exposed right here? We're gonna charge in with our young spears, hit them, collapse their lines a little bit. And as you can see, these javelins are just gonna do a lot of damage to their back line. We're not gonna send our general in, uh, we're not gonna send him in quite yet. And again, we have these guys that are about to come in and just blow, uh, hit a devastating blow. Let's get our archers. They definitely can't hit the enemy uh, very well yet. So we're just kind of keep peppering them. Look at that. General's already dead. Very huge. We're going to have our javelins also come in to the side and hit them there. Let's get our uh, elite, elite infantry into the fray. And as you can see, we are running into an issue now where the enemy archers are going to be focusing on our flanking units. Now, what we need to do is start peppering them. Those guys broke, charge in. And I should have done this a lot sooner. Have the guys come in a lot faster because uh, we're having our general come in. Pull our javelins back, and they're going to keep peppering them. And this general is going to hit a little bit, but that's fine. It's not going to lose really these guys. These guys are absolutely ruining them. And as you can see, these guys, <laughs> dang it, they're uh, blocked with their javelins or their arrows. But that's fine. These guys, elite infantry, are going to charge in and start to help our general. And it looks like, boom, they're going to be absolutely just shattered. One general's already dead. Um, let's, can we have a chance to get behind behind them and just range them from here? We should be able to, right? Uh, let's actually have our light infantry javelins do that. If we can get behind them and just charge it, that would be great. That would honestly probably would have been the smartest move. I probably should have done but uh, As you can see, slingers are a very vital uh, option against uh, archers. Because they outrange them and you kind of just like keep them skirting away from the, uh, the danger. And as you can see, we're going to need to help our our, uh, our clubs and spears on the side. So we're going to have to get in there. Like, we're gonna have our other general come in from the side. Stay tight. And we're gonna be throwing those jabs too. Bows. Oh, whoops. No, you guys can get the key up. Fine. No, you can't. Your targets. We're having these guys though, on the other hand, behind them. Onward, warriors. And surprised they're actually still. I said the same. Surprised they're still in the fight. These guys, those archers. Ah, there we go. There we go. Right prevails. Yeah, they're Onward. now getting absolute pepper. Javelins home. Don't hold back. All right, let's pull back our commander. Into position. I don't want him in the fight anymore. Agamemnon. Agamemnon. Yeah. Such a loose arrow. He always was. Charge him in. Do your worst. And we're going to pull All him back because fall. I don't want him to die. Uh, especially this early on in the campaign, I he dies of old age. Uh, as all leaders, uh, you, know, you want all your leaders to eventually do, rather than die in combat. And they're actually being chased, which is very interesting. Uh, that's fine. We can just keep pulling back. I don't know why I have one of the guys back here. And we should be winning this any second now. It's just a slaughter fest for all their units. And let's. Let's honestly just silence. Let's silence these archers. Go 
what essentially was going to be a very uh, quick battle, uh, or what I thought was a decisive victory. There we go. There we go. Definitely was a little struggle. Uh, I kind of messed up, and I should have capitalized on this area here, uh, as you can see, and sent my guys around. But nonetheless, we, we took it. Uh, definitely didn't go as fully as planned. Uh, I wanted a mass attack. That would have been uh, minimal casualties. Oh, well, man, it was a decisive victory. I'll take it, as opposed to what it was going to be. Um, so, you know, it is what it is.